Hey everyone, welcome to Connor Homestead. So today we're gonna continue with some outdoor projects. We will be uh, taking our moving boxes and breaking those down and putting them out um, on the pasture um, in the effort to help suppress some of the grass growth so we can uh, get started putting our grow beds out there. Nice heavy duty box cutters. Let's take a walk to the shop so we can grab these boxes. There are the boxes. Where are you going? <laughs> she put this in the, sh in the shop. Oh. Oh, no. Ow. Keep running over my heels with this hand cart. So I'm walking, dragging boxes, and filming. So you can see we've got some boxes already out here, but I did not open these up. And they still have like some ow, stickers on them. So I want to get all that cleared up. And so we're pretty much going to keep going down that way a bit with the boxes for as many as we have. So that is the plan. So we'll just get this camera set up here. doing it so we're gonna go to I don't know if you can see it but there's a stick out there that's marking the survey uh, that separates us from our closest neighbor over there um, but we still got some more boxes I think we'll focus on the areas where it seems like the most grass is growing um, so it'll get a little bit more spotty with our placement
Um, just kind of move out towards towards this way. I'm actually gonna take. I'll probably use uh, a shovel and put that mud on top of it. So we're basically trying to get, I don't know if you guys can see it, there it is, out to that stick there. Um, so we've got here to over there. We're not going as far out in width. We're going to keep it right here at this angle. So not too much further. And it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty good. We'll connect those eventually, but it's no biggie because there's a lot of kind of dirt and mud over here, so not too much grass. We want to be able to suppress this growth here of the grass that you see in the little tufts of um, grass or weeds growing there. So that is the goal. And there's a lot of kind of mud and water over there, so we're not worried about that either.
So I'm all about trying to use and find resources that we already have on the property. And in order to do these hugel cultures, so those tree limbs are going to form the walls of the garden bed, but I need some, some post or something that can uh, hold them in place. So let's, uh, here's the infamous, here's the infamous White House. Everyone wants us to save and salvage this building, but we do not. It's in disrepair. We want to take it down and put a greenhouse here. So, um, you know, let's go around the other way that's already open. So I've noticed up here, if you can see, there are a lot of these metal posts. And so I'm thinking, and there's also some rebar. Rebar is, is really, really good to use for, for what I'm looking to do. So I'm gonna grab something from up there. Hopefully nothing will bite me or anything. So yeah, I'm just going to grab some of this rebar. Eh! Worse than I thought. This is perfect. And I'll just cut these down to size with my angle grinder. See if I can get another one. So, a lot of rust in the face, but we were able to get four, so that's good. And uh, let's see if I can go to the shop and cut them to length. I remember when I used to be afraid to use that. And I see people using them, no gloves, no face protection or eye protection. And I mean, I do feel those sparks, but you know, just decide to come out here and do it. And normally I would have these kind of uh, clamped down to cut, but none of my stuff is really set up here. And just, I guess, using my foot to brace it or whatever. So. All right, let's keep going. All right, so this forms one wall of the Hugo Culture Mound and are used to brace this. 
So these are going to form the walls definitely could use another I think I'm gonna use another bracing here definitely gonna need a lot more of these angle irons and what I probably will do is come uh, come back maybe with the grinder or I would like to, but there's nowhere to plug it up. So I'd love to just cut them even more. But we're learning. Learning as we go. 